So let's say your parents send you off to camp this summer. At this camp, they always have an initiation for the first campers. And that is to find out how tall this really tall tree is. And of course you're like, what? I don't want to climb no tree. All you can think is how tall the tree is and how you're going to get stuck at the top. And there's nothing that they'll be able to do about it. And you'll be stuck up there all summer long. But don't worry. This lesson is on indirect measurement, and you'll be able to find out how tall that tree is without climbing it. But how can that be, you say? Well, if we take our tree and draw a perpendicular line down to the base of our tree and out to the tip of the shadow, connect our vertices, that creates a triangle. We can do the same thing with our friend on the ground. Now, from a safe height, we know our friend is five feet tall. And he casts a shadow that is seven feet long. We measure the length of the shadow of the tree and it's 35 feet long. Now all we have to do is create a proportion. 5 feet over 7 feet, that is the height of our friend, equals the height of the tree, which we don't know, over the length of the shadow. So 5 times 35 is 175. 7 times x will give us 7x. And then if we, we need to divide both sides by 7, so x will equal 25 feet. So all things to indirect measurement, you don't have to climb the tree. So for a definition, indirect measurement is a technique using proportions to find a measurement. In your textbook, you'll just use similar triangles to find the measurements that are missing. And that is it for indirect measurement.